So cyber security is a critical issue that has you know, come increasingly under the spotlight as more people work from home and more transactions are conducted online. But you know, cyber security kind of has, you know, has, has once also been around for, for many years, if not decades. I think we're all aware of um, the issues that were seen in the 1990s um, and the early 2000s as a result of computer viruses um, and the sort of the, the submission of malicious code in emails, which cause companies around the world and consumers problems, or even the types of um, sort of activity that took place in films such as war games, where hackers could break into highly secure systems and you know, potentially do things that you, know, you, you didn't really want them to be doing. So in recent years, cybersecurity specialists have been talking about or citing an unprecedented, unprecedented demand as more companies move to cloud-based computing. Um, with more people working from home and networks becoming more, more, more open and proliferating across the internet, it's also increased the opportunity for the bad guys to exploit opportunities from which they can arguably profit from. So we expect spending around cybersecurity to continue. Areas that are benefiting from the increased budget applied to cybersecurity are firewalls, email protection, cloud-based security, and vulnerability management. These are all important aspects to cybersecurity. And an important aspect of cybersecurity spending is its resilience. So even in a tougher economic environment, the bad guys don't ease up on their attempts to steal intellectual property or to defraud customers. So spending can't just be stopped or deferred like it can be for other areas, such as advertising.